Barbera de Brill. He, uh, he is a very esteemed guest as he is a scholar at Columbia University, one of the seven top schools in the entire U.S. Albera, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Almera Jabril and I'm currently residing in the beautiful New Jersey and um, will be attending Columbia this fall, 2010 AMC 12A. So what's problem? Let's go into problem 13. Uh, for how many integer values of k do the graphs of x squared plus y squared equals k squared and x y equals k not intersect? So uh, there we go. x squared plus y squared equals k squared. So that's a circle with radius k and y equals k over x. So that means x squared plus k squared over x squared equals k squared. So for how many integer values of k does this have zero solutions? Uh, well, okay, let's see. I guess we could say x squared equals a squared times one minus one over x squared. So x squared over k squared equals one minus one over x squared. Which so uh, I could say is x squared minus one over x squared. So for how many values of x does this have no solution? So how many integer values of k does this have no solution? Uh, so, okay, y equals k over x, x squared plus y squared equals k. Hmm. So let's say y squared equals k squared minus x squared, then y is root k squared minus x squared. If I'm not able to solve this within five minutes, I'm not going to waste any more of your time, of course. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Okay. So, k squared over x squared, which may or may not be the same thing that I might have gotten a few minutes ago. Uh, how many times do, uh, do these not intersect? So, hmm. All right. So, let's just solve for k really quick. So k squared is equal to x squared over 1 minus 1 over x squared. So k is equal to x over the square root of 1 minus 1 over x squared. So for how many uh, integers k is this just invalid? Uh, how many integers k does this not work out? Well, uh, let's take a look at it. So k squared equals x squared over x squared minus 1 over x squared. So k squared equals x squared times x squared over x squared minus 1. So uh, k is equal to x uh, times x divided by the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, that's not so bad. Mm. So for how many integers k does this not work? Hmm. How many integers k is there no value of x for which this works? Well, that means that if I graph this, there are some values that just never get in there. Hmm, so... If x is greater than, so x has to be greater than 1 here. So what are the values of k that can't be reached unless x is less than 1? Minus 1 equals x squared. Hmm. So what else can I uh, do? So hmm, ooh, if x is less than 1, or x squared is less than 1, so x is less than 1, mm. then uh, let's let this be the square root of 1 minus x squared instead, so that would give me k squared minus k squared x squared is equal to x to the fourth. 
So what would that give me? X to the, no, no, we're not doing that, not today. Hmm. So that's a pretty tricky problem. So I'm not going back to where we came from. Oh, I've got a better idea. Solving for x in terms of k, that would probably be way better. So x squared plus y, so y equals k over x again. So x squared plus k squared over x squared equals k squared. So now I need to find x. So I guess we multiply both sides by x squared. And I feel like I'm wasting time. Uh, so x to the fourth minus x squared k squared equals negative k squared. So um, hmm, x squared times x squared minus k squared, which I'm not, I kind of want to factor into a difference of squares. It's negative k squared. It feels like I can get k without x, but I can't get x without k. And it's honestly it, it driving me insane. Um, hmm. Uh, okay. I guess I can try one last approach, and that's when this has absolutely no solution. One is x squared plus y squared just never equal to x squared times y squared. Well, we can divide both sides by x squared y squared. Yeah, 1 over x squared plus 1 over y squared equals 1. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. 1 over y squared equals 1 minus 1 over x squared. So y squared equals 1 over 1 minus 1 over x squared. So y is the square root of that. But well, obviously that's not very tidy. So 1 over x squared minus 1 over x squared. Oh, come on. Running out of time? y is the square root of x squared over x squared minus 1. So y... Oh wait, where was I? Oh yeah. So y equals x over the square root of x squared minus one. So, oh, x y is equal to k. So x squared over the square root of x squared minus one is k. So when is this uh, not going to intersect? I feel like honestly um there should be no place where there should be a place where any of these intersect but yeah so i'll say a but that's probably not right oh well let's see it's not ah oh two Oh, k equals 1 and k equals minus 1. They must be tangent in that scenario or something. Yeah. So You were on the right path and we did x squared plus uh, y squared equals x squared uh, times y squared. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you have to factor that. Oh, gosh.